Hey guys, welcome to the new video of this playlist series. In the last video, we saw how we can approve and commit the chain code. And in this video, we are going to see how we can invoke and query the chain code. So for that, uh, let's uh, see this in the action. So let me uh, write the command to invoke the chain code. So this is the command which is going to invoke the chain code. So the command is kubectl hlf chain code, then invoke. And then we are specifying the network config which is our connection profile. Then we are specifying the user. Then we are specifying the peer against which peer we want to invoke this transaction. And then we are specifying the chain code. So the chain code name is fabcar in our case and the channel name is my channel. And then we have to specify the function and then the arguments, uh, whatever function we are uh, going to invoke and the arguments as well. So for the function and the argument part, let me go to the browser and see what all functions do we have. So there's the chain code. Fabcar chain code and let me see. So we can use this function, which is a create car that accepts some parameters like car number, make, model, color and owner, all these properties. So let's use this function and uh, pass the values to it. So I will open my terminal here and the function is create car and it takes let me see how many argument does it take. So it takes car number as first argument. So let's specify the arguments as well. So let me give the car number as 100. Then let's specify the second parameter, which is make. Let me give as Honda. Then the third parameter is model. So I can give city, Honda city. And then I can give the color as let's say blue and then I can give the last parameter which is owner so I can give owner as let's call it as Aditya let's try to run this transaction so our transaction was successful and we got the transaction ID as well uh, let's do one more thing let's uh, this time let's not pass the last parameter and see if we get any error or not so right now this function accepts five uh, arguments five parameters but we are passing only four let's try to see what happens so it should throw an error to us saying that you know uh, parameter mismatch or required parameters are not matching so let's verify this as well yeah so we got an error and the error clearly says that incorrect number of params expected five and received four so this is correct so we are getting the correct message so now let me create one more, uh, let's invoke one more transaction and this time let's give the this value as 200 and let's call it as you know some Jeep and then this is compass then let's call it as silver and then the owner, owner let's call it as Aditya only Let's try to invoke the transaction now. Yeah, so it is working fine. And uh, till now we have created two transactions, basically two chain code transactions where we uh, created two, uh, you know, two, uh, two cards. And now let's try to query this chain code as well. So let me put up the command here. And the command for query is similar to what we have in the invoke as well. So let me first try to find a function which is uh, which I'm going to call here. So, so we can use this function, which is query all cars and it should return us all the cars that are available in our ledger. So I'm going to use this function and here I can give the function name and does it require any parameter? No, it does not need any parameter as well. So let's try to hit enter and rest of the parameter is same that we were having for the invoke function as well. So username is there, then we have the peer against which we want to invoke this transaction and then the chain code name and the channel name as well. So all the properties are here. Let's try to run this. Okay, args are not set. Let me just give some empty argument. Even though this uh, function does not require, but does this CLI, this tool requires us to pass at least one argument. Yeah. So here we see we successfully got 
the results and we have two objects in the array so first one have the value key as 100 and the second one is having the key as 200 let me run this again and let i will pipe the response to jq so that i can see it in a better way yeah so we are getting the correct same response the correct response uh, let's try to query one more time and this time i'm going to use some different function uh, this query car and why because it takes one argument so i just want to show case you this feature as well that how you can pass the arguments in the query scenario so this is the function let me copy the name uh, let me clear this so this is going to be query car and the argument that it needs is the i think that is the key it needs yeah, the car number so let's pass 100 yeah so we are getting the correct response we are successfully able to query the chain code with parameters as well so this was pretty much it for this video if you like this video then please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one